be. Hello, love it. I gotta get this camera set up, but listen, love. Thank me for thy presence. Let's see. I'm gonna put this inside the phone holder really fast so we can get this started. Right. And let's see if it's working today. Okay, little computer gadget. Make my phone hold. Over here. Over here. Okay. There's a whole bunch of cards down there. I just got a new deck of cards. And they're tarot cards. They're really um, unique, actually. And very communicative because the loved one who they came from has transformed out of its body. And these are, you know, its spirit is present. It's not the same. But it's so like, it speaks to us. I have now two, two decks from Bill. Bill is an artist. And these cards are like super kind of enchanting. Not so enchanting, like very, very like, Ooh, there's gory stuff on them too. Hi. I want to put a crystal in my hair today. I felt like to do my hair like this to see if I could actually hold a crystal in my hair while being present. There, it feels amazing. Okay. Hi, Lily. Oh, it's like, oh, wait. Okay. It helps teach me, like, proper pos like posture. Posture. So I need to turn on my microphone and my pedal. Hold on, please. And then... I feel like... I guess we'll do deep motion. We'll see if we can do something deep right now. That doesn't sound very deep. Mm -mm. That's not even in, in tune. I'm not even sure where that um, one came from, to be honest. It kind of like appeared there. I'm like, oh, let's see. Um, usually I have to, like I have, um, I get regular parts to add into my loops.
are ready to love we and ready to love we together. I'm so thankful for loving each other. Loving is so healing. Um, very, very nurturing, very, very nourishing. I'm going to shuffle this. You said not yet. Which cards can I use then? all 
the messages on them fully, but I have a comprehension because I was also playing with Levy and I had to like quickly, I was like, oh, I have to do this really fast. And Levy's like, pay attention. I had to like pay attention so I couldn't like pay attention to the cards and the vibes. I'm going to read their messages and I can't give them to you right now, but I will, can I work with them at some moment with them on Tuesday? Um, sorry, we're trying to erase the idea of dates and time. Um, so I will be doing that and probably the next when Levy goes to bed on um, the next full moon after we rise and play and do school. <laughs> okay. I love you each so deeply. Thank you for loving me too. Thank you. So Tony shows woman, woman being, it shows a being holding a coin, a love and light being with a black meow meow with yellow eyes, a very, very lovely f um, purr, red bow, shows passionate, you have purple in your hair, shows you working on controlling things, the dress you're wearing needs to control things, so, and then the chair is passionate for you, feeling that comfort. And it looks like you you pretty much um, in the in the image it looks widowed as if you you detached yourself enough from that relationship that to to you that being is no longer existing in that way and the hopes you heal through the trauma that you suffered and in the experience I want you to remember to breathe in light and expand that and through the heart healing through your heart healing that being I realize it's not like massively important to you in this moment to comprehend this so any moment that we're healing those who have hurt us or those who've been who cause us to feel something um, they will be aware of what they did that was harmful to us in those ways and they will get a chance to heart heal too because they'll be able to be released from being able to latch on from being able to ill-fact or hurt or effect in a, in a way that causes suffering and pain. So it shows a, a sense of protection of heart in this image, the, the face, the image on here, on that photo. Really, um, with the number 42, it shows stability and the integration also from that experience that has caused you to feel that strength, but it's really a lot for you to even let others get close enough um, to you for you to trust them some moments you you question them and their loyalty and their truthfulness and that's natural um, but trusting that you know communication is really important if there's any moment that you that you want a question you should communicate and Lily I shall give you a message also Nicole Greetings, Nicole. I'm so happy you made it. We'll look on. <laughs> I love you too. I love you each very deeply. Oh. Ooh. Shows contract. And I'm seeing someone that I'm not gonna mention their name, but it's not, it has a womb. And it shows sex through the womb experience. Look at this picture. Similar hairstyling. Face shape. I'm saying that you freeing your voice will help others consider your stability as, as a factor and um, protect you. shows that you have to work on your door to value, to love yourself enough to believe that you can. It shows that once you raise that in yourself, 
that you are. Um, the three and the one shows the integration with, a, with prosperity, so it does show that that sacred place that you've been envisioning. I, I've seen you in there too. And um, it's very comfortable. It's like a small warm, like a small home. Like not too small though. The, the roof is not too, too tall. And it looks very comfortable and naturally made. Like truly um, feels safe there shows that once you raise the door to value, that the door to personal healing and happiness is opened with abundance and stability. That once we open our door to our healing, happiness, we are totally blessed. When we are accepting the journey accepting what it takes to put that foot forward and trust that your voice is important, that your experiences are important and that you are, you are totally trustable to protect in those ways. Um, it does show deceit to be careful for those who are deceitful. It shows to work with divine beings who bring positive change and integration to help shows um, goddess of Luna shows a light being feel love light shining that, that can help you work through those who are deceitful so if you want to ask for advice if you need any guidance or any help I'd be happy to work with you and I have others also who I feel like you would trust in spirit and multi-realms that um, you can reach out to also. <laughs> okay, yes, Nicole. Ready, Nicole? It shows, wow, let me shuffle this. Let me shuffle this. I was just thinking about you, Nicole, right? And so they showed the um, a partner reversed. And that partner was someone who offered stability and that you had, um, you had a very deep connection with. Either you felt like, it, like you had to take care of it and kind of tolerate it as if it was like your responsibility. Sorry for my arms, I'm literally doing push-ups and yoga for like a little bit. And um, <laughs> what it represents, also it feels like inside the womb. Um, so maybe you had a miscarriage or you had um, a pregnancy together. And it shows that that being, that it would have been nice if it would have honored and, and honored you in ways that you deserve because if it would have seen how lovely you are, it would have treated you so much more compassionately than it did and had. And so trusting that it's not, it's not something that, like anything in the past, anyone you've ever experienced in any birthing is not worth you feeling like you're not good enough. You should always see yourself as a beautiful divine light being who has a beautiful soul a lovely humor and can encourage others to feel joyful and blissful. Find the beautiful qualities and write them. At the moment that you ever feel anything doubtful about yourself, find the parts of you that you love. And then remind yourself of them. Do things that remind you of what you enjoy doing when you are in those moments and it will help. There needs to be healing. It does show hostilities. It shows that during relationship that there was hostilities. And you know, with, with the holding the coin part, it shows also that a realization of stability and not having to, um, and getting to choose, having a choice. 
um, of doing what feels comfortable and with who and when and how. And that's really nice. It's comforting. It feels like, like split pea soup or some vegan split pea soup. So yummy. Um, probably not too. I'm probably hungry. That's why I'm saying that. If I was not hungry, I'd probably be like, ew. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Split peas are really nourishing for us, especially with coconut. Um, so with the three and the five, Archangel Miguel, um, Archangel Faith comes through with the awareness that the root chakra needs to heal from that experience. It'll help the heart to heal. So the root, the heart, um, through that area in the chest, the throat, the back. And I guarantee that you'll feel so much like relief because they have like um, it feels like it's energy, like you have high blood pressure, which is not like an issue for some, because it might be just how it is. Like there's many types of species here, and it looks pretty red. So, um, you know, it's kind of, some of them have certain types of energies, and if you're like totally eth like an ethereal or middle or, or Gaia, like Fae, type of energy, light being from Pluto, or, you know, the, when you're when you're a multi-realm type of energy, where you, you have sparks, that's why when you dream some moments, you dream in other other places, that you're like, wow, this is, you know, really beautiful, and you, and you go there, it's because it's part of where you're supposed to visit, it's part of you, an essence of you, and there's loved ones there who love you too, and you have journeys, and you, you also, some of us, we, we take place and appear and communicate so like I stand in the council I, I do very deep prayers and I come forth I've done events with others who ask me to communicate with the councils and tell them things that they have questions for and um, and I do not do it just as they ask some moments if it's not of, of um, creation smallness for all creations, if there's a small group that wants to remove all womb beings, I'm definitely not going to ask for that. I was actually asked to ask for that. I'm like, there's some, I'm not even going to say the name of it because I don't want to disrespect anyone who is not like that because I don't want anyone to get a misperceived conception of a group because of um, some affiliate that has their own different set of morals because of their own experiences. So I'm gonna let that lay there and let that go and tell you that you need to work with the root to help your heart. So the heart healing will help with the root. And the way you do that, I'll help you do it. Wash your blood. Please and breathe in deeply.
I'm showing you with light now. And you get to heal as you feel ready and I'm helping. And then you get to help also by being willing to release that energy. It's like a, it looks like it's detaching, it's kind of floating there, but be conscious. And if you feel that, just help with that and open the window or, or pray through that. I forgive myself, it wasn't my fault because some things they, they work through feeling like there's something wrong with them too. Oh. I feel my crown is tickling. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give some sound medicine now for those who are present. We are here. Welcome, Anthony. The Shinsuri Anthro Gundi. overthinking experiences. Feel into them and continue facing the true north. So in our tribes, and many tribes, um, they give birth facing the north. That is, that is a way that we put the, the altar with the ancestral bowl with the nourishments inside. And then we gather the sage or in the cedar or other types that are growing that are sacred to the tribes to put there. And then the cloth with the, the special type of cloth that is made, it's like a little carpet, but it's, um, it's very special. It has the markings on there from the tribes. I had a sacred one, light being named Two Feathers, who came and gifted I um, for us. And it had two feathers on the vase also. So, and on our umbilical cord, we made it into a dream catcher, and it has two feathers also. Um, they made our placenta into pills that we took if we had a fever or anything like that, or breastfeeding, both Lovey and I would receive them. So it's very sacred, you know, that the act of giving, when we give birth in the North, it's very honorable. We welcome the ancestors, the loved ones of our tribes to come and watch over our loved ones that we are giving birth to. And that is also very special because that is walking into the north, which is 
there is considered the path, the journey. Um, and, and there's many, many norths for many who are multi, I guess, multi, um, multi realm. There's not actually like one north, north, but there's many. It just, it is what direction we are guided into. And the one that is, um, that fully feels that it is meant to be in that way. And it is really important, you know, so many of us are like, oh, I've been asked, how can you be spiritual and function having a company and running things, yeah. And, um, and it's, you know, it's because I have to. I've, I've tried to have others do help me. I've had to have hired others to try and do what I do and they just don't. Um, they don't have the same passion as I do about it, some of them. And one of them did, Amber, Amber Scott, the prophetic artist, too. And um, it was really sweet because when Amber would pour the ladles of the elixirs, Amber would say, um, healing, pure love, light. Amber acknowledged that. That is, you know, the way to do it. I, I, I do it with like, but now obviously it's not the same as I did before, but I do it with intentions as I'm creating. Um, and then I hold the, the container and then I bless them. But I, I used to like actually like sing over the ones that I'm gathering with and like do that, but now I'm more careful and more honorable because I feel that um, I would want others to do that for me. So I'm, I'm doing that in, in the way that um, I am supposed to, in that sense. Um, but I'm using energy. So I am able to use energy to do things. I feel like that. If I really, really, really have to, it's it's like that's what I really want to do right now. Is so I'm going to do this for those who are present right now. I'm going to send some um, some light. I'm going to do some light washing and um, possibly some plasma. Plasma would be nice. I'm not sure if all of you could have, handle the plasma. So I'll do the, um, let's see, the energy so the air will feel a, a bit more hydrated. So it'll hydrate the, the cells so you can comprehend like what to, what to, what to experience, what to expect. And if you don't, that's, that's totally natural. If you have a lot of, um, Shanghai, you want to get a lot of Shanghai around you. Um, it'll change some of the molecular structure in that place around you. So even though we're, we're adding to the atmosphere um, in, in a light way, um, comprehend it, it's to be helpful. Atu ye ye ratu.
like multiple types of beings who created some of these loops and I'm like so thankful because I found them and I piece them together to make whole orchestras of them. May it bring healing and energy and rejuvenation for your souls to feel like you have it in you to heal. Rise the light within your soul. Expand that right Keep breathing in light, expanding it brightly. Expand that light so brightly that it becomes a beautiful, glowing presence. Shine as you are, so fully precious, beautiful light. So
feeling so free Sigh Feeling so free to be Be in the purest ways of feeling to be Be in the healing ways of feeling to be Conscious aware of what you're doing to we, what you're doing to thee, how you're meant to be. So are we all ready to rise? So please open up to love and please don't hide. So many reasons for we to coexist. We are the reasons, please be. So many reasons for we to exist. So many reasons for we to love freely to be. For we are the way, we are the truth, we are the light. We are the light we've been looking for. We are the truth, we are the way, we are the light. The keys that we have sought, we have within you and I. We hold the keys, we are the way, we are the answer. So can we please coexist to create a sustainable solution? To wipe away all illusions, please let us find a way. Look, if you're called in this moment and you want to reach to me, uh, my email is wesustainall at gmail.com. If you go to wesustainall.org, you can sign up and volunteer. And we can find a way to love each other and to find a way to, to build what is needed for communities. There's more than plenty of grants available right now, more than plenty of options. And I and, and others are willing to work together to provide what is needed and urgent for everyone who is in need and who is without. So if you're called in this moment to step forward and to work with us and our team, I'm building the team, I'm building the, the whole thing, and, um, and I would love to have a team working with me. I have Lily working with me, and Joseph um, is helping us with the mushroom um, that's supposed to be eating the plastic. So they're, they're getting the culture and they're working with the culture um, so we can get it and it can be sustainable so that we can also create that and um, share that with others who want to erase the footstep of plastic. Now that that message was given. <laughs> Be the way, 
be the truth, come be the light and shine. Open up and be the light and sing, truth be redefined. Be the light you feel inside and heal, open up and shine. Free yourself from the ideas that there is a battle. Realize that we are released from that spectrum. There's no battle. We, we have come. We, we have heart healed. Overcome those boundaries you've set then. Those are not the high vibration rays. Up awareness to soul's truth. What feels free to do? What makes you exhausted? What dreams come from that are you now transformed? Realize now who you are meant to be. Do not hide. Realize now who you are meant to be. We do not hide. We embrace our truth. Soul light shining. This is our path. We define our truth. Soul light shining. We are rising. With our love, we are rising creatively. We are rising so sustainably. We are healing. I'm like so excited to see that the reach are yeah, like programs for youth, for families, for loved ones who need to heal and transform, to activate, to grow beyond the limitations of segregations, to actually integrate. Um, this is a big part why I choose not to segregate with genders because even with um, me showing my the blood, it shows, you know, there I really don't feel there's a need to segregate because even the family agrees with that. They were like, oh, you're not from, and let me see what's going on with you so that we can integrate in such a pure love way and expand our vessels. <laughs> So, you know, it's really beautiful how our, our integrations um, integrated um, with our souls because with the, the, the Akashic readings, I acknowledge that each of us become are from the light, are from the beginning, and that there's a percentage that remembers when it's darkness. And so I acknowledge that. You know, I acknowledge the ones who've come to me who said that their memories were when there was darkness and my memories is when there's all light. And then you comprehend that integration and then I look into who they are. They are definitely angel beings too. I see that their energy has wings and they, they see them and feel themselves floating there. And I'm like, okay. Um, so definitely part of that, um, lovey remembers there too. I don't remember that. I remember it was all light. Um, but I do remember through others' experiences. I remember coming through spirit and watching as a, as a presence um, because it was so extreme. I remember seeing through their eyes also, I could see through their eyes, but they had to wear all black, all cloaked in all black because they had to flow through there because of the type of things and practices that were done there in those moments. There were things were really desperate um, because they didn't have light in those moments because something happened. Um, you know, it was a part of a realm. There was, um, it was a moment where it was the idea that there was a possibility to help them um, and um, then they sought to sacrifice certain beings and things like that so they were like oh mm. so I had them cloaked and I remember looking through their eyes but it was a lot for them to experience so some of those who were from then who can remember from then and um, and they remember flying or they remember being a being who was fallen uh, Acknowledging that it wasn't your fault that you were there in those moments. Um, and that you know, we're very, we are deeply, we deeply apologize for those experiences, all of the who've suffered, who've ever suffered anything ever. Um, we deeply apologize that you suffered through those experiences. Um, the journey as a child was a lot, so when I learned that I had abilities, I didn't realize um, how big my abilities are. And so I'm um, coming into the awareness of having abilities and um, what we're capable of. You know, I already knew that early on, um, but to know that I, I'm able to help beings so many places um, is really beautiful and really healing because I pray when I wake up and when I go to bed and 
many moments I'll, I'll be in a gaze and begin praying and um, and not only praying but doing I, I feel that I'm, I'm literally light is pouring through my fingers and my hands and some of you witnessed that when I start I glow a lot and um, you know it's a lot of energy and I had to like work on what to do with that because um, that was my job I would do I would go meet beings and I would wipe them clean and um, they'd come to see me you know and so um, I've been doing that even even just I, I see faces and I see to pray for them and I, I feel called to reach out to some of you and I do and and I help you I love you and I'm thankful for all the donations and gifts that you've blessed me with um, but I, I do it because I love you and um, I see that you need help and it's really sad that you've had to work through the experiences and felt alone I want you to know that you're not alone that there's many who are present and even if you don't see them um, you do feel them some moments so um, ask them for help you know it's totally beautiful to ask for help um, it's natural to I do some moments I learned um, that it's okay to ask for help and that's a lot you know I was taught not to ask for help it took it took a lot for me to then and I've learned to have to ask for help and be humble and um, I, I really feel like It's okay to ask, it's okay to accept, it's okay to be loved, and um, you know, it's not too much to reach out, and I apologize. Some moments I get messages, I'm not sure what's going on with Facebook to wait, um, but I check on my computer, I check on my, in my inbox, and those messages were not there like that. It took me having to click on your name, because you're like, I wrote messages in my comments, so write them in my comments at the moment that you've messaged me and I will um, reach out to you and then I'll see your messages. It's, it's surprising that they go um, like invisible and I comprehend that there's so many messages that if I sit there and click on all your faces, I might find messages there to me and um, I would love to read the messages and respond to you. Um, especially if it's something that I'm able to respond to you about. Um, if it's something sexual, I probably won't respond to you. Or if I do, it's probably something very innocent. And, um, and, I, and I pray that you comprehend that me saying that I would appreciate love if our communication could be very pure and very innocent um, for my heart and for our interaction, please. Because I love you as if you were in my, in my womb or something very innocent kind of love. So it's a lot to some moments I realize who I am and I realize the effect that you have also. But my, my journey with you is to help you expand beyond your root to the solar, sacral, heart, throat, crown, third eye crown. The third eye you're working on through the, the back of the crown because of your postures. And it'll help you align. Some of you have written me said that your body doesn't arch. And it's because of the way that you sat and that you formed your body with the muscle. So it takes practice, just as you practice to lift things. Um, you can practice to straighten, if your back allows. Well, I need to get to bed. Um, I have to get up early, Lydia's class and classwork, and um, there's so much to do. One of them is the shape of an old triangle, so. Okay. Deep breath. Breathe into your deep expansion.
still told me about that secret. Thank you for the love and thank you for your presence, so beautiful loveness. And my messages all you to my, um, yeah, I'll give you a contact, I reach out, I'm sure I could, I could pay my part of it to, to watch Love You or have a session with you, we can play together, and the Love You will enjoy that greatly, it'll help, um, harm you, heart healing too, I'm sure. Okay. Wow. do a prayer for all of you and all this and for your heart to Is there a fireplace there, like a chimney? I really feel like it needs to get cleaned. Really, really, not just because when you said it was, I got a really sharp buzzing, like a really sharp ring from over there. And it's like a tunnel, like a tube. Okay. Um, shows cleanliness. Shows. Um, Take care of yourself like you care about you and like you care about where you're at. Um, to try and, and cook dinner for yourself, to try and take care of yourself, like to make yourself food and nourishments that are going to help you. Um, just by the scan, it looks like like you like it would you'd probably benefit if you did um, an alkaline diet where you increase also vegetation, um, alkaline drinking, waters, uru, um, lighter drinks, lighter beverages, um, more so vegetarian, more so vegetables, but you do need some, some sort of iron in you too. Um, if you'd like, I'll, I'll click on your name and I'll, I'll reach out to you. And if you'd like to have a video call, I'll have a video call with you and if you have any questions for them, if there's anything um, that you're trying to find that was buried there or anything like that, um, you and I can have a call. I'm not sure if I was just telling you that um, on video. It's okay. Don't don't feel concerned. Don't feel like others are gonna um, find out about that um, right now. Um, I can talk to you about that. It's not something that you could, should worry about or concern yourself about. Um, but I'll talk to you if you want to know what it is or something. But as far as I'm, I'm seeing is that they want to leave that there. Um, and we can talk about that on our video call. We'll have tea. We'll have a tea and a talk. We'll both have a, a nice light tea or something if you, if you can stomach some tea. Um, you know they make something called green coffee. It's um, the green, the green um, little pods of the coffee bean. I believe it's a certain type. Actually, I'm sorry, it's not proper information. If you know what they're called, please post them. I'm, I recently, not so recently, found out about them, but things told me like that I've tried. Not something that was memorable, obviously. 
but um, I'm not huge on coffee either. So I, I do enjoy the, the co certain types of like coffee cupcakes, like the, the real ones, like the ones made from maybe like the jungles or you know something like that. Like the way that it's made, that they're made is really honoring the, the being, really honoring them and just creating like just a bit of uru, just a bit of flowers that you want on And it's like a thick, so thick and yummy soup on it. When you drink uru in a glass on the side, maybe with some lemon after, it'll wash it through. Um, and it's, it's good medicine, it's delicious. Maybe I'll have some of that for if you have, if you're going to drink the cafe. I like to be on, on a, like a zingy level too, so we'll discuss that. Okay, I need to get my my vessel in bed because my lovey's going to wake up early and want food and to play. And we're going to play before school and eat breakfast. And then we have testing. Oh, sorry. I'm trying not to tap into the idea of any time, any time is an illusion, okay. We're going to have, um, Lovey has a testing after class, so it's going to be a journey and we're going to have classwork. And that's a journey each, each and every class experience. Lovey is either totally for it or not, not going to do it unless, like, I take things away, and and if I've gotten pretty like really calm, like really cool about it, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to play Roblox, and Lovey doesn't test me now because I, I have actually taken away the computer, so um, it's pretty easy. It's just kind of like steps, like one, two, three. We'll practice, like, okay, I'll just stop asking and. If Lovey shows interest in something, I will show interest in that and care about it um, and care about Lovey. And then Lovey chimes in to do the school stuff. So it's been kind of like an ebb and flow integration. I've learned how to kind of work through it and it's helped me comprehend how to deal with um, certain types of experiences. And um, it's like another match on the belt as a pairing, I guess. Um, as, a, as a light being too, because we acknowledge this integration with each other, we practice patience and comprehending, okay, um, reading the situation, what is it that they don't like, what is it that's affecting them emotionally, um, and, and really accepting that as, okay, well there's obviously something going on there, so maybe I should, I should do something to help. Make it easier for my lover. So I'm patient, and I notice that patient works a lot better than a lot easier um, than asking, than saying, "Okay, you know, don't do it if you don't feel like it." Because if if they see that you have an interest in helping them do it, then they'll do it. You know. And if you don't show an interest in helping them um, do it, then it's not the same, you know. They need someone to do it. Same with the other one, if we had to, I'm having to help with the homework, I'm going to have to do that again. Is, um, it needs help, but it's just kind of lethargic otherwise. It's kind of like a sloth. It's kind of laser and it lays on the phone or plays on the on the TV or something VR. Plays with a sibling. Oh, they watch movies together and paint together and do crafts and bake together and do a lot of things. They're not sloths. They do things. They're very active. They walk to the store some moments, which I don't fully agree with, but they need the exercise, so I'm like, okay. Or they go feed the ducks, so quack, quack. Um, which is really sweet. We like to do that. We ride bicycles and I run, I run up and I'm, I'm not going to ride a bicycle. Like my hair might get stuck on the wheel or something. I'm cool. Um, I don't have a bicycle. I would if I did. I would tie my hair. I wouldn't want to tie my hair, but I probably wouldn't. My hair is really long. 
um, which is okay, but um, I gotta be careful not to shut myself inside of the car door. Okay, not my like my hair. Some moments gets like like I'll shut it and I'll like notice that it's like in that door. I'll be like, oh my goodness gracious, I don't want it flapping outside. Like, have you ever gotten your coat outside? You don't want your hair stuck outside like that. And you get up, you're like, why is there insects? In my hair, why is there little beings, little winged beings? You know, whoever they were, and the souls that they captured, I pray that they're free and okay. I used to do that when I was driving. I'd have my hair outside the window drying, and I, I didn't think about it. I was like, not being very wise, then I guess. I heard that others have done that too. I guess it's just like a thing when you first get locks, it helps your hair something. I wouldn't do it now for sure. I don't want to get my hair dirty like that. Okay, let me see you, Am. Again. How do you feel? I'm putting light towards you, dear beloved. I'm going to put through, through your grief area. I was going to hang it up, but I figured I'd be here for another one. Okay, I'm going to take care, love you.